We'll call the regular meeting of the Upshur County Commission to order. We'll begin with a moment of silent meditation and prayer, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time we will have the reading of the minutes of the July 18, 2013 Upshur County Commission meeting. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. The County Commission of Upshur County, West Virginia, held their regular meeting at the Courthouse Annex on Thursday, July 18, 2013 at 9 a.m. Donnie Tenney called the meeting to order. There were present Donnie Tenney Commissioner, J.C. Rafferty Commissioner, Troy Brady Commissioner, Megan Pomeroy, County Administrator, Jennifer Dinkelo, Assistant County Administrator, and Jacqueline Dinklocker, Secretary. The meeting began with a moment of silent meditation and prayer followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. All motions passed unanimously unless otherwise stated. After reading of the minutes on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission approved the regular meeting minutes of July 11, 2013 as submitted. Jerry Kimball, West Virginia Classic Wheels Car Club representative, appeared before the commission and provided an update on the second annual Blast from the Past event on July 26 and 27 and requested a donation to help sponsor and support the event. After discussion on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission approved the, a donation in the amount of $250. Megan Pomeroy and Sheila Adams, chief tax deputy, provided a review slash status report concerning county depository bonds held in the first community bank for the period July 1, 2013 through July, uh, June 30, 2014 for deposits in the name of the Sheriff of, of Upshur County. The county depository bonds protect the deposit slash funds for amounts over and above amounts insured by the FDIC. After discussion on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission approved the county depository bonds of the first community bank for the period of July 1, 2013 through June, 20, June 30, 2014. After discussion on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by J.C. Rafferty, the commission approved the employment of Geraldine Kopolov as part-time deputy county clerk at the rate of $8 per hour. Effective date of employment is July 22, 2013. Megan Pomeroy provided an update slash status report on the renewal of the maintenance slash service contracts with ESRI the Environmental Systems Research Institute Incorporated and GST, Global Science and Technology Incorporated. ESRI provides maintenance slash technical support for addressing and mapping software and GST provides consulting and or maintenance slash technical support for computer slash internet communications and quote assist with techn technology purchases for courthouse operations. Unquote. After discussion on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission approved and authorized pres the president to sign the renewal of maintenance contracts with ESRI Incorporated in the amount of $6,816.65 per year and GST Incorporated in the amount of $1,078 per month. <coughs> the commission reviewed the following four information items. Number one, NACO prescription drug discount card. June update, Donnie Tenney requested Bank and Pomeroy and or Jennifer Dinklow to follow up with listing of card distribution locations for the maximum benefit to county residents. Number two, memorandum regarding time extensions for community participation grants. Number three, agendas and or notices of meetings as listed. Number four, meeting minutes and or financial reports as listed. Number five, meetings as listed. Number six, appointments needed or upcoming as listed. 
Sheila Adams, Chief Tax Deputy, and David Kaufman, Upshur County Sheriff, appeared before the commission to discuss the employment of tax office personnel. At 9.30 a.m. on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission entered into executive session per West Virginia Code 6-9A-4. Present were Donnie Tenney, J.C. Rafferty, Troy Brady, Megan Pomeroy, Jennifer Dinkolo, Sheila Adams, and David Kaufman. The commission returned to open session at 10.05 a.m. No decisions were made in executive session. After discussion on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission approved the employment of Hallie Renee Hitt as full-time tax deputy at the rate of $9 per hour. Effective date of employment is July 21, 2013. After discussion on motion by Troy Brady, seconded by J.C. Rafferty, the commission approved the employment of Wendy Bass as temporary part-time fire fee clerk. Effective date of employment is July 18, 2013 at the rate of $11.57 per hour. Payment of wages is reimbursable to the county by the Upshur County Fire Board. David Duracio, Johnson Controls representative, appeared before the commission and presented a review of services and products associated with the company. Mr. Duracio advised that Johnson Controls is a consultant and provider of energy saving solutions for efficient operations. The company will provide a preliminary, pre preliminary energy audit slash analysis at no cost. After discussion, Donnie Tenney advised that the item will be placed on a future agenda for action. J.C. Rafferty provided an update on his recent attendance of the Corridor H Authority meeting. Mr. Rafferty reported that the authority hopes to complete the construction of the remaining 20-mile stretch of roadway by 2020 instead of the original projected completion date of 2037 and is looking into doing a study on what the economic in impact will be if the project is delayed. The commission approved all invoices for payment. The commission approved all vacation orders. The commission approved the following settlements as listed. The commission approved the following exonerations and or refunds as listed. The commission approved the following consolidation of land tracts as listed. With no further business, on motion by J.C. Rafferty, seconded by Troy Brady, the commission meeting adjourned at 11.30 p.m. Are there any additions or corrections to minutes, Mr. Hurt? I'd ask for a motion to be approved as such. So moved. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same time. Motion carried. Okay. <clears throat> First item to discuss and approve is uh, Johnson Controls Memorandum of Understanding for Utility Benchmark Analysis, Energy Conservation and Sustainability Appraisal. That's the gentleman was here last week. Correct. Yep. This is the uh, the memorandum of understanding to do the initial analysis as to uh, our energy conservation, our energy use, and sustainability. Um, and this is free of charge, and then they give us a benchmark um, analysis, and then we can then choose where we want to go from there. Okay. And one thing uh, you're probably aware of, but when we get to the point where we will enter into a, a contract, the risk pool then will will look at that and see if there's any rec make any recommendations changes so that's a free service from being in the risk pool okay so this is our to get our free analysis do we have a motion to approve and authorize the president to sign the document so moved i'll second all any question or comment all in favor say aye 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 opposed same time motion carried. next item is upshire buchanan health department board appointment and this, we don't have any recommendation right now from the health department, but there are some stipulations as to who we can select. Um, right now, I believe they have three Democrats on their board, so we have to pick a Republican, and it has to be from the Washington district, I believe. I know that's the the previous or, uh, member of the board was was met those two guidelines. So Correct. we have Dr. Reed here. He's the what's your official title, Doc? He's, he's the medical director of the Upshur Buchanan Health Department, Buchanan Upshur Health Department. So, knowing those criteria, Republican from Washington District, uh, be nice to have somebody with health field related background. So, uh, you folks be thinking, and 
and if there's anyone out there in that meets those criteria that would be interested in being considered for an appointment to the health board contact us because we'd like to get someone appointed that soon you have anything doc to say or Two people go off the board, Dalton cut right, and Betty Bailey have been on the board for quite some time and been doing major good service, I think. So it would be nice to have a replacement on the board. I understand that the city has appointed a replacement for their, I guess it's Dalton. And uh, so we'd like to see one come from the county commission, too. Well, we. We will expedite, expedite that matter, and, and the, on behalf of the commission, we would like to thank Betty Bailey and Dalton Cutright for their years of service on that board, and appreciate their contribution to to that. And, uh, and once again, if there's someone in Washington District that's a Republican that would be interested, contact the commission office um, and let us know, and we'll try to get an appointment appointment made to that as soon as possible then and thank you for thank your, you doc. thank you for your service and on behalf of all the babies you delivered in Upshur county a big thank you including my daughter <laughs> Most of them up now. yeah <laughs> yeah there's something about years kind of has that effect on people doesn't it <laughs> okay next is updates and approval of james w curry advisory board members and this uh uh, we actually, I met with uh, one of the board members earlier this week to try and iron out who is on the board currently, what vacancies we have, because I think it had gone a little bit before anybody had uh, done that. So we determined, I think I included it in the, uh, I did not. Um, there, I have the full list of board members right now, and there is one vacancy that was left when uh, the previous administrator left. Um, so the board had a meeting yesterday and they included their, they sent me the letter that they would like me to take his place. I think that's, um, I think that would be a good, uh, now we had, um, let's see, Joyce, Joyce is on it. Correct. Deborah Brockman still on it. Uh, yes. And if anybody's interested, I have this, I meant to include it, I apologize. Um, Deborah Brockman, Albert Lake, Joyce Harris-Stacker, Michael Quinn, Craig Preeser, and Irving Lake. Then there's one vacancy, um, and we work very closely with them, so I think that they did want to maintain the connection with our office here, which is why they. Well, then I would ask for a motion that we appoint um, Megan Pomeroy to fill that vacancy on the Curry Board. So moved. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposition. It's all positive for you, buddy. I don't know what the, I don't know what the reason for that is. Um, one thing we want to keep in mind, and maybe we've done that in our appointments, we, we had the um, principal of Rock Cave School to have a connection there with the schools because of the uh, things that they do that are children related. Did we still have James that connection? Mm -hmm. um, I'm well, not I know sure. We have Craig, Craig Preacher, but He's with 4-H, right. the extension service. Um, and then we have FRN and the Stockard Youth Center. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that and certainly keep that in mind when another vacancy comes. Yeah. Well, that, that's um, if if we're full now, that's that's okay. We just, I'd forgot about that when we were appointing people. But we did have Amanda Craig, and then she was so busy that. Right. Uh, the other thing that we need to try to do, I'm not sure how much we've done in the last year, but we were going to try to have a meeting, one meeting a year at Stockard. And of course, we were going to try to do one meeting here at Rock Cave School and try to get it out into those areas that's affected by the kids. Because they, I don't know what they've done this year, but in the past, they've had a lot of events for children, storytellers, and uh, different things that they've had in up at Curry. And if it's coordinated with um, like Soccer Youth Center and the school system, then there can be a lot more kids that can attend those events and you get a you get a greater impact for your uh, on your projects you're doing. So that's just something we keep in mind, and, and you can we'll probably help forward. facilitate that. Yeah. Okay. So you've been a, okay. Next is approved resolution for award of court security grant fund grant project number, and it lists that for thirty-eight thousand one hundred seventy-six dollars. 
That's the one you worked on, isn't it? It is, All yes. Right. We did receive that grant for the full amount that we applied for. Um, it is to update a number of our different security measures around the courthouse. So okay, and fix our, that is it fix our button here? Is that the one? Yeah, very good. Okay, so we need a motion to approve the resolution and sign the documents. So moved. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Next item is approval of new Lewis Upshur Animal Control Facility Forms, Volunteer Program Policies and Procedures, Rescue Agreement, and Animal Surrender Agreement, and seven new volunteer applications. So the first three are some of the new forms. You did already approve the um, volunteer application form, which we updated um, a couple weeks ago, I believe, maybe last week. Um, and then when we were doing that, we started looking at some of our other forms. So we have um, a new volunteer program policy and procedures, um, and then rescue agreements. That is when we work with rescue groups to make sure that they sign off, that they're taking our animals. Um, then the animal surrender agreement, that is when an individual comes to the pound and actually wants to drop off their own animal. It will hopefully give us some more information that we can then pass on to future rescues or people that would like to adopt the dogs, such as, you know, if they're food aggressive, if they ride well in cars, if they're afraid of men or women. I mean, just kind of the basic information right. that an owner would know that we can then pass along that would be helpful to someone that might want to adopt them. Very good. So, and then the volunteers, um, we would like to have the volunteers sign, read and sign the volunteer program policies and procedures, um, but I know that they've been waiting since last week to be approved as volunteers. So if we could um, approve them, maybe pending them signing those guidelines that you're also approving today. And then right. I'll email those out to them, and once I receive those, then they'll be formally approved. Well, I think that's a good way to do it. We'll, uh, we'll approve it, and if they... Uh, agree to the stipulations and they'll be volunteers and then they'll understand what the requirements are to be volunteers and we we certainly do appreciate all of our volunteers whether it's the animal control facility or throughout the county we have a lot of volunteers uh, involved with the commission and various numerous groups volunteers are key to any success of any organizations jerry knows that um, and so we certainly appreciate that. And the, the goal of the Epps County Commission, as far as the animal control facility, is to adopt as many animals as we can. Our desire is to get the dogs out into happy homes so that folks are happy. And, the, and I know personally, we adopted a little Chawiner dog uh, a couple years ago from out the dog pound. And uh, he's just um, spoiled rotten. And my wife, sometimes I think, likes him better than me. I mean, if it's a choice of who gets to eat, Oreo would get to eat before I would. So, but I tell you, you know, animals do make a, they're, they're, they're a valuable asset to a family. And uh, so we certainly appreciate that and appreciate the volunteers and want to get as many animals out as possible. While understanding with the number of animals that come through our facility, you can't save them all. And but we certainly appreciate all the rescue groups and all the efforts that that are made by individuals to get as many of those animals adopted as possible. And we appreciate your help in in getting all this established so that we can have some more guidelines uh, guidelines to work within, so everyone understands the program, what the guidelines are. And uh, I think it'll make it for a, a, a better operation. Well, and I know Jan does a great deal for the animals, and she does a lot of rescue, and she also helps operate the uh, neuter scooter, which right. is a low-cost um, service for people um, to take their animals to be spayed and neutered, which is greatly important, especially to keep in control on the population on the animals. Right. Um, and the one that was supposed to go on Tuesday, I asked her to sit out just to make sure that we have all of our... Um, bases covered, but that is something that will, I think, continue and that we support, and Jan works a great deal on that. So. Right. Okay. So, we would need a motion to approve the, um, the, the agreements and the volunteers uh, pending the desire to um, accept the agreement as presented. 
I'm for anything that makes it better, so moved. And I'll second that. And all in favor say aye. 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 Both same side. Motion carried. Next item is employment of part-time administrative assistant for the Office of Upshaw County Commission, effective August the 12th, 2013, a rate of $8 per hour. And we have a request for executive session per West Virginia Code 698 4 for discussion of personnel. We have a motion to honor that request. So moved. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. Aye. Oppo aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. So we will take a little break and enter into executive session. We've got coffee up here today, only regular, because we want everybody to be nice and perky today. <laughs> will a decision be available afterward? Uh, if we make one, it will be, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll stay. I, I'm We are exiting executive session and entering regular session. There were no decisions made in executive session. And we do have a recommendation from our um, county administrator. So, Megan, if you'd like to make that recommendation. I met with... Um, a few applicants and Erin Fletcher is who I would like to recommend for the position. She seems to have a lot of experience, a great attitude, and I think she would fit in well here and do a great job. And her start date and rate of pay would be? Um, she would start August 12th um, and then she would be uh, start at $8 an hour. Okay. Okay, we have a recommendation. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Same side. Motion carries. Okay, we have, uh, for your information, statewide transportation improvement program notification review and comment period due through July the 29th. This is something that we get every once in a while. I think the last one was maybe in May, but whenever they do any sort of improvements or work, um, that I believe requires federal money, I believe. Um, they have to put all of that work up for a review and comment period. So this is a listing of all of the work that they will be doing in the upcoming um, period. And so it's listed by the county, um, by the type of job, I think, when, when the funding obligation starts. Uh, and so it's just an opportunity for anybody to look through it and make any sort of comments that they would like to. I think there's a contact name on there. Okay. So really just sort of a vetting process. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and other than that, we have some agendas and notice of meetings. And that looks like that's uh, about it, unless you have something else. Much Buddy, you have anything? Okay. No, i just like for them to know that we get several good applicants for positions here. And the problem is that you can only pick one. But we do appreciate everybody that applies for the county positions down here and uh, we had several good applications but you can only choose one from that okay okay well we have bills to pay so we will get started on that <laughs> 